when you buy it, flowers from a shop, you never ever see the development stages, how the buds start and then the petals open. And uh, I thought I would take some photographs of these zinnias I've grown in the garden, just to see how they grow from day one to day eight. And it looks like you get one level of petals starting to grow and then it works its way in towards the center. So every day you get a, well it seems almost like, you get a new layer of petals growing on the thread. Stamens with pollen on them. And more and more petals are added every day until you wind up with could be something like a cone shape. Well, for this particular species, there are other zinnias that uh, will produce so many petals, but this one seems to be producing a lot. And they're a wonderful plant for attracting insects, bees and butterflies. Once you cut them and you take them into the house, they seem to last forever and develop there as well, putting out new petals all the time. So they're a wonderful plant. And the colours that you get, it's just absolutely incredible. Pinks and oranges and reds and mauve and violet, wonderful flowers. Grow them, they're great. Butterflies and the zinnia. Really lots of them fluttering about here now. And bees as well. Anyway, that there is the zinnia that I've been photographing. This is it from the side. Where all the petals. It's almost looking like a, a dahlia now. Let's go along and show you these zinnias. There's some competition. This is the one that I've been photographing. And you can see that, I don't know, it's, it's going up now into some sort of cone shape there. Lots of pollen in the center. But let's look at the, the colors of these plants. There's a, an orange one there, a big red one, pink one, purple, that's the flower, that's a different shape I think. Still we've got butterfly on it. More red ones here. getting in the way. This is a salmon colour. Oh, two butterflies here on the one. 
There's just tons of butterflies on that. There's a bee. That's a honey bee. The red one. Butterfly. Two butterflies. So those are all my zinnias. There's a nice big one there. And then just drawing back. That's them there. This uh, bed, it, it's in the shade all morning. Then it gets sunshine in the afternoon. And then shade again at night time. So it's a perfect place for them. And they seem to be very attractive to, to bees and insects. Grow them, they're fantastic flowers. Very colourful. And they last forever when you cut them, put them in the house. That's it, zinnias. Grow them from seed. I did. There's the sun going in. Thank God for that. 